Anya here from the blog allegablehome.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make really quick and easy salmon cakes. It's one of those quick and easy dinners that let's say it's the late afternoon you don't have any idea what you're doing for dinner you can just whip this up in which I'm going to show you less than five minutes and fry the cakes in less than 10 minutes and have a nutritious, healthy protein on the table really quickly. What we'll need for it is obviously the canned salmon so this is a nice pantry meal and I like the um, sockeye salmon it has skin and bones in it which I don't mind and you can um, mix them up and you won't even taste them in there but you know can also get boneless and skinless canned salmon then we will add one egg one quarter cup of breadcrumbs and I always like to make my own from old bread that I dry up and mix up in the blender and then I have about a oh, good tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley. I'm adding some pepper. I'm not adding salt because this salmon has salt added already so I'm going to hold off on the salt and then we'll need some heat resistant oil such as avocado oil to fry up the cakes. Well, I'll go ahead and dump the salmon into a bowl. I have drained it for the most part. There's a little bit that was at the bottom, but um, you want to drain it as much as you can. And I like to right away break up the salmon in small chunks. And this recipe is good for about two people. You can very easily double or triple the recipe to make enough for your family or whoever you're feeding. And I like to add the egg at this point. And again, mix that in as well. So the egg in there is really to hold the cakes together, otherwise they would probably fall apart. And I'll add the breadcrumbs. They are there to give it a bit of a fluffier texture, otherwise they might be pretty dense and solid, so the breadcrumbs help make it a little bit softer and fluffier. Then I'll add my black pepper to taste. I like pepper, I can never have enough pepper. And the parsley. Then we'll mix that up one more time to incorporate all the ingredients. And at this point, I will heat my skillet and then come back and show you how I form the patties. So while this is preheating, and I always love to use cast iron, cast iron works best when you preheat the pan, then add your oil, heat your oil, and then add your ingredients um, to make it as non-stick as possible. I'm gonna make about four patties out of this amount here. And I like to also make sure a little bit more that they're uniformly thick so they cook up evenly 
Now, of course, if you're making more, you can make them bigger, however you like them the best. more important that they're uniformly thick rather than uniformly big in diameter and you can already see that that is going on for me here and I have a cat who's always interested in what's going on in my kitchen to my stove and this pan looks pretty good I'm gonna add maybe a tablespoon or so of oil let that heat up and you can always tell that the oil is hot when it's very runny almost like water and we'll carefully add the cakes to the hot pan. And again, the trick with cast iron is to resist the temptation to flip the cakes too early. You want to let them sit in there for a while because then you will get absolute non-stick and they will flip very easily. Depending on your thickness, I would probably cook them on the first side for about three minutes or so. And let's go ahead and with them. They have a very nice color here. And I like to do another three minutes on the second side. I'll quickly check if they are the same color on the other side. Almost. But I think they're done. them with some pieces of extra sprigs of parsley and here are your salmon cakes you could see how quick and easy they are to make they come together in no time they fry up in no time and like I said it's one of those pantry meals that you can quickly throw together when you're in a pinch I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video. Also, if you have any questions or comments about this, always leave a comment in the box below this video. I always love to engage with you and hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in my kitchen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.